Now, away from Parliament, scores of NDC supporters were arrested on Thursday for taking part in what the police describes as illegal protests on streets leading to the Electoral Commission's headquarters. The protesters burned tires, mounted roadblocks and pelted police officers with stones to express their disagreement over the 2020 presidential election results. Head of operations for the Accra Police, Accra Region Police, ACP Kwesi Fori says security agencies will use every means to ensure the law and order is complied with. Max Olagbaba was there for joining us. Security personnel deployed to maintain order on the streets in front of the Electoral Commission headquarters, firing rubber bullets to disperse the agitated crowd. Many of them clad in red clothes charged at the police whilst chanting. Rubber bullets, um, police are using to disperse the crowd. Same thing we have uh, here in that container. So these are rubber bullets they are using to disperse the crowd. Now, things were calm some minutes ago, but the situation escalated um, again. And now they are trying to de-escalate the situation. There's still some firing going on. Many of them have told us that they are going to continue demonstrating. And, and this will continue for days. You can see um, the... A car region director of operations in control of the situation as a stance now with his men. A lady going, the police officer going is actually picking the remnants of the rubber bullets that were fired some minutes ago. And they have that in that vehicle. Let's try and get the director of operations for the Ghana Police Service. This is the very crucial and critical time. Let's find out from him. Um, SCP question for you. What is the strategy now? The strategy is to drive out the vandalism that we're witnessing on the street, destroying property, attacking individual individuals and so forth. And we'll not sit down for lawlessness to prevail on our street. First and foremost, the assembly is unlawful. And also using petrol. Another dangerous liquid we will not accept this and in line with public order management. Now they are pelting the huge stones, huge rocks. Are the police officers, uh, David Amma, kindly come back. Okay, it's getting a bit. Can, can we have a good view of what is happening right now? They are pelting huge rocks right now. The supporters are pelting huge rocks at the police right now. And that happened as the police tried to take some persons into their custody. You can see that huge rock being pelted at the police. And the police is also leaving those stones unturned here. I can see the director of operations for the Ghana Police Service, ACP Kwesiofori, commanding his men to move from the other sections, telling all of them to move in to push the crowd um, further. Per the public order dictate, you should notify the police of your intention to demonstrate. This was not done. They just came onto the street and behaving violently. We are in a democratic state and we will not permit this kind of behavior and attitude and a face a criminal conduct, attacking people, throwing stones against properties, removing adverse on the streets that people are paid for. I have noticed that therefore we are sending a strong message to these demonstrators and those of the like that the police will deal ruthlessly with
now speak to lawyer Susuri is uh, representing some of uh, the NDC supporters who were arrested. We are told they're expected to be arraigned today. Thank you for your time here this morning. What's the update on your clients? Hi, good morning. Good morning, uh, good morning. Good morning Chesha, um, The update is that we are still at the Jabin court uh, yet to be called uh, for the hearing of uh, the matter. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, applying for bail for them, uh, particularly the offense being charged being bailable offense. Um, uh, the number of them that sustained bail degrees of increase yesterday uh, as a result of some assault uh, during the arrest. So we are just hoping that um, the court will be magnanimous and admit them to bail, which is also their constitutional right. Uh, then we can, uh, at appropriate time, inquire into the matter. Uh, beyond representing your clients in court, uh, I, I, I stand to be corrected, but I do know that lawyers also um, advise their clients. The police has come out to encourage persons who want to protest to notify them five days to the time and um, also do so peacefully. We've seen uh, just what, what happened on Thursday. Uh, there were pelting of stones, burning of tires. What is, and, and you're a member of the NDC as well, what is your party doing to ensure that if you still want to go ahead with these protests, your supporters do so peacefully? Well, um, I believe that uh, as a very responsible uh, political party, all steps have been taken to come our ranks uh, so that if anyone wants to embark on any such action, you can uh, give the police notice in accordance with the Public Order Act uh, and also encouraging everyone uh, to be very peaceful and protest. Mm. Uh, protesting is a constitutional right, but we also understand that uh, those constitutional rights are limited by the Public Order Act. Uh, just to make sure that you don't also endanger other people. But have uh, your supporters clearly. been made to understand this? Oh, well, I mean, this, it, 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 I mean, it's a process. This conversation and this communique has gone down with our people, mm -hmm. and we are hoping that they will definitely live up to expectation. And that, let's not underestimate the fact that, um, you know, some of these political tensions, trying to quench them and even ordering them uh, in accordance with uh, the rule of law, Sometimes can be, you know, challenges. But what is important is that we understand this position of the law, and we are advising our our rank and file to make sure that whatever they do must be within the limits of the law. Mm -hmm. Everyone can protest if you want to, but let's give police a notice. And also, when you are on a protest, let's ensure that they are peaceful. If you look at the people who are being arraigned before the court today, um, a lot of them walk into this protest really. Uh, not knowing that uh, they either have, they have been noticed or they have not been noticed. And okay. You, you, but... you, you, you cannot charge this uh, innocent people, mm. uh, most of them who you can describe as involuntary agents. Um, and, 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 and you know what? A lot of the guys who were really misbehaving mm. on this process, trying to bend ties and other things, none of them is here today. These are some of them have been bystanders. Some of them are people who are walking by and who have been arrested, about 30 of them. Okay. So the dynamics are quite different. So we are mm. just hoping that today we can get the bill for them. Mm. Then we can inquire into mm. the substantive mm. matter. This week we've seen quite a number of protests. Uh, there was one in Tamale and another in Wa. And there we saw leadership of the party in those uh, particular regions as part of the protest. This one that happened yesterday, was it sanctioned by the party? Can you kindly ask that again? I think I can get you very clear. I am asking if this protest that happened yesterday, for which some people were arrested and in court, was it sanctioned by the NDC? Well, these are, I mean, spontaneous uh, reaction of the rank and file uh, in response to the just ended election. And you can understand that it's a very tense political environment, and everybody and every organized group of people in their branches uh, are people who are trying to show uh, in one way or the other how they believe that the election has been flawed. Uh, so, um, uh, I mean, it, it, it's a bit difficult even to tell from where I'm standing uh, which constituency might have sanctioned, which uh, authority might have sanctioned or might not have sanctioned. Mm -hmm. What we know is that a lot of people are protesting in their constituencies, in their areas. Some of them are actually... Uh, 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 
peaceful. Some are just uh, uh, thank you thoughts that eventually turn out to be protests and, and so on and so forth. Mm. So the point is that we are in a political environment and a political season where a lot of these things may happen. Okay. What it, when, it, when it, they happen, the best we can do as a responsible political party is to continue to calm our ranks, uh, let them know that you have a right to protest, but let's all try and do within the limits of the law. Mm. Let it be peaceful, because sometimes in uh, protests, the people you disturb, some of them are your own members. Mm. The traffic you cause affects not only MPP members or CPP members, it affects Ghanaians, some of whom are also NDC members who vote for the NDC. So it's important that we all have level heads as we deal and navigate this uh, uh, political uh, uh, situation that we find ourselves. All right, in. finally, the people you are representing in court, are you representing all persons who were arrested? That is so. I'm representing all the 32, and I'm here with, I mean, uh, five other lawyers. lawyers. Uh, we okay. have the former attorney general with here, lawyer John Mark, uh, lawyer uh, me, uh, Adam Asio okay. Jr., and some other lawyers who are here to support. So the, the, those who have been arrested, can you confirm if they are indeed members of your party or you are representing them we, because... We cannot confirm each and every one of them. So, but at least there's one person I know okay. is uh, one of our party chairmen, okay. uh, I think, of one of the constituencies. Okay, so you are representing them because they were fighting the NDC's cause, is that it? That, that is so. We are oh, okay. representing them because these are people who have come out to protest uh, in exercise of their constitutional rights. I said that, of course, there may be challenges in that exercise, and that is what we are seeking to legally address. Mm. All right. Thank you for your time uh, this morning, the lawyer pl Francis Xavier Susu there, uh, talking about the arrests that the police made in relation to that protest uh, on streets leading to the EC's headquarters on Thursday.